This is the Spirit and Wellness Show. News and information from a higher perspective. With your host, Harry Wilkinson. Hello, welcome to the Spirit and Wellness Show. My name is Harry Wilkinson. This is the show where we talk about the days and weeks events, happenings in the world of politics, of international news, everything that we interact with on a daily and weekly basis, and we take a step back and we look at it from a higher perspective. I consider it to be a wellness issue because, uh, as you are probably quite familiar with, uh, the information overload that most of us deal with on a daily basis, where we have increasing amounts of uh, ways of, of getting information, technology that bombards us with information that's not necessarily particularly good information or smart information or necessary information. Uh, we need to find a way to navigate through all of it that is healthy and doesn't stress us out, doesn't overwhelm us. And uh, this is the point of view that I uh, express on this show. This is the perspective I come from taking a look at uh, the things that are happening in our world. And we talk a lot about you know things that are happening on a sort of a national or worldwide level because these are all things that we are sort of collectively experiencing. But this goes just as much for anything that's happening uh, or appears to be happening in your personal individual world. The idea that what is happening in the outer is absolutely a creation of what is within, what is in the inner. Uh, I'm a metaphysical sort of person, uh, and based on what uh, I know about uh, metaphysics, as well as uh, what is uh, being supported by research in quantum physics, uh, we are creating what is around us. Because what is around us exists at an energetic level in waves. Uh, and what we focus on, what we put our attention to, is what we tend to create. That's a very oversimplified version uh, of that, uh, but that is what uh, the science in quantum physics shows us. So, uh, like many, many metaphysician, metaphysicians over the centuries have uh, explained, we do have a energetic existence beyond our physical existence. And at that highest level of our existence it lies the truth of who and what we are. So, at that level, we are creating what we experience in, for lack of a better term, the, the, the mundane level, uh, the lower level of us. Uh, what we experience, what we feel every day is, to a large degree, an illusion of our own creation. Why would we create such things? Well, to have the experience. Because at that level, the ultimate level, the highest level, the truth of us, uh, we are not uh, the confused, uh, weak, uh, or indecisive, or frightened, or uh, overwhelmed uh, characters that we portray in our uh, sort of illusion, illusionary world. Instead, we are powerful beyond measure. And we are all connected. The interconnectedness that we share is what creates what we experience. And we experience these things much the same way as we experience uh, on a lower level uh, going to the movies or reading a book. We have experiences that uh, entertain us, uh, 
excite us. But ultimately, the truth of it all is for us to be able to understand our creations in a way that uh, goes beyond, uh, you know, rational, good or bad uh, kinds of dual thinking and understand that we are creating it ourselves for the purpose of reconnecting to the truth of who and what we are. And when we do that, that gives us the ability to rise up, take that step back we need to take, and change our perspective on how we view situations. And that's an empowerment. That is a wellness tool that used with things such as mindfulness and meditation can really help us to uh, not only uh, navigate the increasingly complex uh, world of information that we are exposed to, but to gain something from it, to really gain our, our energy and our uh, uh, wisdom uh, from these situations that um, at first one might react to in uh, a less than positive manner or a an illusory <laughs> uh, sense of uh, uh, accomplishment or joy that really isn't there. Uh, what do I mean by that? Well, uh, a good example of this is, uh, let's take a recent n news report about um, the, uh, the investigation uh, of President Trump. And uh, the report that uh, Robert Mueller has now completed and sent on to uh, the Attorney General. So, the reaction of people to this, depending on what it is they want to see happen. Uh, there's this, uh, for some, very uh, anticipatory uh, sense of uh, almost glee, I guess, in thinking that uh, this will vindicate uh, uh, one side or the other side. Um, and whenever we are looking at things in that way, we are looking at them in the wrong way. Uh, because whatever this report is going to show us, whatever information is going to come from it, is going to be uh, complicated, a next step uh, in what needs to happen. Uh, and it will be interpreted in a vastly different ways by many different people. So there's no real truth to what you will see or hear. It's only uh, a next step, a guide post, if you will. And what it reveals, whatever it reveals, will be seen by some as a vindication of the president will be seen by others as a condemnation of the president and ultimately the truth of it is it, it is uh, another story that we are telling ourselves in which we wish to examine and in some ways recalculate or reaffirm what it is we stand for as a country, as a people, as American people, and what we expect from our leaders. That's what this story is about. That's what we are reconnecting to, which will ultimately lead us back to the truth of who and what we are and our interconnectedness. So, yeah, in a nutshell, that's kind of uh, the perspective of this program. So, uh, 
on we go. Now I've just spent a few minutes explaining <laughs> uh, this program and, and touched on the topical uh, news of the day, which is something we do here. Uh, but our main uh, topic for today's show is going to be a following up on our previous discussion last week of the future of the Internet. And it ties directly into what I've just been talking about because the Internet itself is a uh, physical expression of that uh, interconnectedness that we have. We'll call it a, a spiritual interconnectedness. Uh, and it is changing our world because it allows us now to interact with one each with each other uh, more like how we at, at the highest level of our our being at that metaphysical level if you will how we all interact so it is expanding us as people and the future of the internet uh, is very much again a, a parallel or a, a, a physicalization of what we do on that metaphysical level. It's going to be augmented reality and it's going to be virtual reality. I've said many times on this program the stories we tell ourselves, the, uh, the information we, we get, the, uh, the things that we deal with that appear on the outer are like virtual reality creations. They feel real, they have incredible detail, uh, and uh, they're very involving on one level, but the truth is that they aren't real. There are creations that we create to have these experiences. So we are literally going to be doing that uh, uh, very shortly. Um, and once we have a reference for that, we can understand it on a higher level as well. I, I think it's amazing. It's a little scary, too, for some. Uh, but we're going to talk about that. We're also going to look at immune system supporting diets. We've been talking a lot about how to change your diet so that it supports you and makes you healthy instead of depleting you and making you feel bloated and, you know, uh, tired or, or whatever. Uh, it all has to do with what you eat and what you eat helps your immune system to uh, interact with uh, everything out there in the world in a much healthier way. So diet can help change your perspective. It can also help change your mood. It can also help, uh, help in uh, this uh, approach to the, the things in the world around us, the tensions the the fears uh, that often get um, button pushed by a lot of the news and information that comes across to us. So, uh, changing your diet is really important. Uh, many people uh, who've been listening to the show the past couple of months have expressed uh, interest in more information about that. Uh, you know, we talked a lot about, at the beginning of the year, we talked about uh, New Year's resolutions and how to keep them. Uh, and for many, losing weight is a, is a goal. Uh, but what we've discovered is that diets really don't work unless you have, uh, you know, a change in your eating habits. So that's what we've been focusing on. So how do you change your diet to sort of support your immune system? Uh, well, there are specific foods that you would want to eat. Uh, most of them are what are known or classified as antioxidants. Antioxidants are things that have uh, a lot of vitamin C and other uh, other uh, vitamins in them that, that um, clear out oxidation in the system uh, rids your system of free radicals free radicals are things that uh, are known to cause damage to cells uh, 